Hello there, Ali here from Logo Diffusion, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Logo Diffusion to create text effects. To get started, we need to go to the start with an image uh, workspace, and from here we need to we'll open our sketch tool, and we can go to our text uh, tool right here. Uh, this is going to give us an editable text. I want to start with something simple and we'll do something a little bit more complicated later on. So let's start with something kind of simple, like just a single number. So I'm going to do like a number five and let's make it a lot bigger. And from here, if I click on this bucket uh, tool, I can uh, change the font. So now we have these fonts. We're going to be adding more uh, later on. So let's say I want to do this ultra font and let's make it a little bit bigger. And I want to inverse uh, the color, so I'm going to make the font white and the background black. I'm not going to use the image colors for now. And I'm going to go uh, to 3D over here. And I'm going to just write a simple prompt. Uh, I want to try something a little bit more organic to see what we can get from it. So let's say I want something like the number. Whenever you want to do uh, a text or number, always put it between quotation marks it helps the AI see that as a separate uh, element in your prompt so I'm just gonna do number five between quotation marks and then let's let's do something like made of this and let's click generate and see what we get all right and these are the results we got from this you can see we got uh, several results with different color backgrounds since we didn't use the image colors you can always click generate again to get different variations and you can increase the image influence if you want it to follow uh, the number more precisely. So you can see here, for example, we got something here, maybe like extra. Uh, so if you want, you can just go all the way up to high and click again and you're going to get a uh, cleaner result. So let's try that. And as you can see, these results are following the input image almost uh, precisely in all of the results and we're getting something a lot more precise maybe a little bit contained so if you want something more organic you can move this slider a little bit lower and if you want something more precise you can always uh, move it uh, higher you also have this extra setting from here which is redesign priority if you want depth or details uh, details i would use it for a logo or a text that has a lot of small details in it and depth is for bigger shapes like how we're doing now with the number five so now let's try something a little bit different i'm going to make this a little bit smaller and uh, change the text word so i'm going to do something like the word tropic let's make it a little bit smaller and let's change uh, the font so i want to do like montserrat and let's do it bold All right let's make it a little bit bigger and for a prompt, let's do the text tropic in quotation marks uh, made of tropical leaves, fruits, and plants. And let's do something to make sure that we get a clean background. Let's do a clean, empty background. Now for here, I'm just going to do go back to the middle. I don't need to use these colors and uh, let's keep it at 3D and let's click generate. And we got uh, these results. So got this, I think this one looks pretty good. This one's a little bit uh, busy. I'm not really happy with the with this one. But let's say we want to uh, do something a little bit more custom. So let's say I want uh, I want to use this kind of like background color, so I'm just gonna copy it from here and switch the background. And then uh, for the text, I'll also kind of copy, you know, this green. And let's say I want to have like a pineapple kind of down here. So let me just push this up a little bit, and let's start with like a basic shape. So let's say this one, and then let's just make it a little bit taller like that. Let's rotate it a little bit and uh, let's make it kind of brownish and then for the top of the pineapple let's go to the pen tool and kind of copy the same green we have here go back to the pen and just do 
just some random shape doesn't have to be perfect just to give uh the ai something uh to work with and we need to mention that in the prompt so instead of fruits and plants here i can do something like pineapple it doesn't have to be any more complicated just something like this and let's click generate now we got uh these results uh i think they look all right but I forgot to turn on the use the image colors. So to make sure that we have uh, the image colors, I can just click this and let's click generate again. So you can see now that uh, we got results that followed uh, our image and prompt. Uh, you're always gonna get something kind of a little bit weird like this. Uh, but if you want to make sure that you don't uh, get this weird results, you want something more precise, you can always, uh, push uh, this slider up so i'll try again with something between mid and high and let's click generate and you can see with the higher image influence slider you can get something that looks uh more like the image the design we created and kind of photos the colors a little bit more and we don't get any of these uh weird results anymore and this is kind of the power of uh, logo diffusion allowing you to control the ai output precisely instead of just using text prompts because if you want something specific and if you want uh, a design that follows your exact composition colors and overall ideas it's really hard to get that just from text prompts you always need to kind of like guide the ai with your input and colors to kind of get the exact result that you need and this is how you use logo diffusion to create uh, text effects and custom designs and i'll see you guys on the next one